Hello gang, Alexander coming back at you. Wanted to take you through a quick run through today on socialmarker.com. It is the service, new service that was created by a 30DC member in order to improve upon the social poster concept, make it faster and easier for you to get your site submitted. As you can see, it's a free service like Social Poster. It does require that you use Firefox when using the social marker and I'll show you how to use it all you need to do is drag this button up into your toolbar and I'll show you how to do that right now just put your mouse over this paw print left click it and let me bring the screen up here for you left click the paw print drag it up here and as you can see now we've got the social marker button available for use now down here what's also cool you can get this bookmarklet button on your blog or your or your blog or your website to make it easy for your visitors viewers and readers to bookmark your content that they want to bookmark just click in here it'll highlight the code copy and paste it underneath your content pieces or on your site or in your navigation where you want it to be and so as you can also see here it's got a similar type of interface the title once you use that social marker button that we put in the toolbar we put this social marker button in the toolbar up here once you click that on a site that you want to see these fields in here the title the link will be filled in and then you can add in text which is what you want to appear on the comments section or the description on the different service bookmark service websites and then the tag separated by commas and some sites you have to change it up with spaces and of course you just hit the submit button once you have these four fields filled in so now we go down here a little bit the other cool part of the functionality that social marker has is these clickable hyperlinks here now we can allows us to select the social bookmarking sites that you want to submit to obviously we could hit all and it's highlighted all of the services we can hit best and of course it has taken out these five down here these five and these four which they consider to be smaller sites or lesser services none I think is kind of a prank or a joke I don't know why you'd even be on socialmarker.com if you didn't want to get any submitted so uh, that is kind of a strange button there but the straight bookmarking sites things like delicious Google bookmarks are just an online version of the bookmarks that you normally have on your hard drive when you find a site that you like so those are just straight up bookmarks and links so you could bookmark using those services things like sales letters AdSense sites sites where you have a ton of ads and a bunch of affiliate links on places like delicious and Google bookmarks without having to worry about offending their community or getting your account banned now on this other one here this news type sites like Netscape reddit and dig they are kind of topically related dig is really more for like techies and tech focused type stuff they do have some other categories you can fit your content in if it fits reddit is more of a political type is how it started and again they also have some other categories you can use but on those you want to make sure you have good quality content uh, a good content piece and maybe one affiliate link you don't want to go overboard with the affiliate links there because you'll anger their the Netscape dig or reddit users and you might get your account banned so we want to keep you from having that happen to you so just post it to the appropriate places and that is part one of the video that talks about social markers functionality in part two I will take you through a couple of examples of actually submitting sites using the social marker service so I will see you on part two